Hi everyone, welcome to another episode. In this one we're going to be reacting to Ted Lasso, Season 3, Episode 1, called Smells Like Mean Spirit. Um, recap? Try and sum up the last season. <laughs> Nate turned out to be a snake. Yep. Um, went through his trials and tribulations. We talked about mental health within sports. Which is a good um, thing. Which was a good thing. Dr. Sharon helped um, Ted, and in return, he helped her a little bit with her problems. Mm -hmm. uh, Beard and Jane on and off, like a light bulb. I don't know yep. whether they're coming or going. Uh, Rebecca and Sam did finally meet, and then Sam had the opportunity to go away to Casablanca, uh, rejected it, but in kind of gave a speech at the end saying, I didn't do it for you, I did it because I've still got more to play for here at Richmond. Richmond obviously then got promoted. Sorry, they got promoted after he gave that speech. Uh, before he gave that speech. Mm -hmm. We had Christmas at the Higgins. That was oh, brilliant. That was, that was a lovely episode. I still think that's one of the best episodes. Yeah, I think so too. Um, and then Roy and Keely basically are on a... Well, they're not on a break. They're very much in love, but... Um, they, I don't think that was a big deal. He's just, gone on, he's just gone on holiday for six weeks. Oh, yeah, no, no. It, is. it wasn't, no, it yeah, wasn't it was a not big deal at all. No, no, no. Um, um, and then, but him and Jamie have obviously come there closer, a lot closer. He did yeah. headbutt him at the end of their game of hugs. So was, that was quite good. Um, I think that's... Who am I missing? Lastly, the asshole. Well, I did say Nate's the snake, isn't it? So, oh, you did say like, Nate's the snake. Yeah, yeah. I think, I think you added, uh, added a bit more to it. He's gone I think wearing. the thing is, yeah, he's he 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 showed a different side to him this season completely, and actually, he ends up being the last scene is him being the new manager of West Ham uh, Football Club, which is now owned by Rupert. Yeah, um, and I think we did say that we think it all started around about the funeral time. Yeah, when he's talking to him. Yeah. Like Pulls him aside. Yeah. Well, we he doesn't pull him that, yeah. aside. He's just standing there and he comes in. Oh, and blah, to blah, be blah. fair, do you know what? I, I think as much as I was like, oh, this guy's a dick. What a snake. He's moved across. That final scene was actually a brilliant scene because you don't know it's him. You just think it's someone else. Did and he, he dye his him. hair grey? He didn't have grey hair. I don't know why he I did. pick up on that. Did he? In in the last episode, he did. And I think in one of the other episodes, he did. It's weird. I thought it was. I thought it was just. I thought he had jet black hair. But I think towards the end, he did start having grey hair. Really? But th th this looked like, like really, really grey. It's like this can't. Like I couldn't. I couldn't tell it was Nate. You could tell if it was Nate easily. Yeah. And yeah, then yeah. and then I did like stare for like twenty seconds. Like, hang on. That's yeah. It's 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 a little bit more greyer. His yeah. his hair has got a lot more. And remember that is three months after their last match. So that shouldn't be enough. That period. shouldn't be enough. I mean, what do I know? My hair fell out before it went I mean, grey. <laughs> yeah, so you're salt and pepper beard. Um, uh, so let's see what happens in this one. Season three, episode one. Uh, smells like mean spirit. Let's check it out. Are you alright there, Ted? Looks a bit rough, did not he? Have a safe flight. It's from his wife. Oh, he's going back home. Well, we gotta roll. Come on, let's go. Your mom, so it's just, oh, his son's. It's just his son going back. I must have visited for like the summer. I have pads all loaded up with a bunch of movies, so no need to watch your neighbor's screen, okay? Less movies about clouds and sewers, the better, right? <laughs> Amen, Big Ben. You get home, will you give your mom a big squeeze for me and let her know I love her? Yeah? Mm -hmm. Well, until then, here, you bring it in. Come on. Well, that must have been fun, and back to the grind now. Well. At least he got to spend time with him. It probably did hurt him a little bit saying goodbye there. Yeah. Although it looks like he hasn't taken a shave in ages. <laughs> it's not like the Ted we've seen. But no, I'm fine. I think. I don't know. I just feel kind of guilty about the little guy flying all by himself again, you know? Oh, sick. Has they made like a... Yeah. An AFC Richmond Lego set. And a sense of autonomy at Henry's age. That's pretty jokes. Uh, is that Nate? But hey, maybe my being here is doing more hurting than helping at this point, you know? Well, as the man once said, doubt can only be removed by action. Ooh, I like that. I thought you would. <laughs> <laughs> Nothing's changed, I see. What team you with right now? Can't say. Okay, all right. Well, uh, what sport? I like that Can't he's kept say. in touch with her. How many Australian yeah. And they've got that that cool. Uh, but, yeah, report. but not as a therapist, like patient. More like a friend. Know. Yeah. 
Oi, oi! Not yet, I didn't. Uh, <laughs> That was cheeky. Get that was there. very, very cheeky. <laughs> All of them have us finishing last this season. Mm, it's really rather annoying, isn't it? Mm. Our ten-year-old Terry started writing a sports blog in our kitchen, which we now call his home office, for tax purposes. Where does your son have us finishing? <laughs> <laughs> I don't mean to come in here and tinkle on y'all's toenails. What's the buzz? Tell Tick me what's that. What well, the? apparently That's everyone alive has picked Richmond to finish in 20th place this season. I predict all their predictions ain't going to come true. I mean, it's normal. Teams that don't generally don't belong in the Premier League and do get promoted to it, statistically yeah. most end up going back down. This might be a good time for us to update our roster, put some more firepower in the team. That is a great idea, Leslie. Let's put some feelers out, shall we? Would you have done this before the season starts? Yeah, like it's. <laughs> I mean, I don't know a lot about football, but transfers, I'm assuming, happen way before. I had a woman accost me on the street, telling me I should fake an injury this season so I wouldn't have to deal with the misery. Bloody hell. Piss off. No, she was a nun. Oh, oh God. It's even worse. <laughs> Ain't gonna get Stop with Jamie's hair. We're together. And together, we got me. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> what did you? Uh, Statistically uh, speaking, most teams who get promoted are relegated the very next year. Oh <laughs> he just said exactly what I said. Shut the fuck up, young man. It's the Premier League. It's just statistics, man. I love it. Still brutal honesty. Henry and I played a whole bunch of FIFA while he was here. Very helpful. You know, we both learned who Maradona was, and I had explained to my son why cocaine is actually bad for you. Oh, oh damn! God. Why would that even come up? How can we never hear of an overdog? Uh, in German, the Uberhund, but in English, we say top dog, or more specifically, uh, West Ham. Interesting. Does he not have a, you'd think he'd have a better car than that. Really. Yeah, when you get like a massive pay rise or something. Yeah. I see what you mean, his hair is really... It wasn't like this. Yeah. Our owner in sport. Thank you. Fuck you, Joe Rogan. <laughs> Jesus. These are the poets and the geniuses behind KJPR. Uh, hello? Uh, <laughs> God, it's like a real office up there. People typing and being awkward and everything. <laughs> <laughs> Fun features like this. Look, watch. Oh, Ooh. wow. Very cool. Quite cool. Oh, hey, no. it's all right. Hey. Is she not happy? Yeah. I'm so busy. I literally have to make time in my schedule to sit at my desk and cry. Oh, wow. my God. 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 Feels like it's getting a little stuffy in here, yeah? Like one of those days you want to have class outside. Mm -hmm. <laughs> what the fuck are you two you talking about? We are outside. Yeah, I was going to say. Yeah. Is Kenneth around today? Uh, yeah, no, Kenneth lives here. Yeah, you know, he does work a lot, don't he? <laughs> no, 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 isn't he? He literally lives here. Ever since his cult got shut down. Oh, cult? Man, he was in a cult? No, 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 no. He was the leader of them. Why? <laughs> the groundskeeper. Is it that creepy groundskeeper that was uh, opened the door in the beard episode? If it was, it's really messed up. <laughs> He's a leader of a cult. And that explains, yeah. I'm really sorry again about your blouse. What are you talking about? It's barely noticeable. <laughs> <laughs> God. Boy. Sucks butt that everyone's predicted Richmond to finish last. I mean, what floppy cocks? You're not actually worried about that, though, <laughs> right? No, not really. More bothered that Rupert must just be so happy right now. Who's really gotten stuck in your head these days, huh? No. I mean, yes, but the me now doesn't feel the need to destroy Rupert's life. No, the now me just wants to beat him. To win. So it's healthy competition rather than... Yeah, um, being him will kind of also destroy him a little bit. But we have a problem. Barbara, come on, it's Keely. Oh, and I want you to meet my dear friend, Rebecca. She owns AFC Richmond. Oh, yes, of course, Rebecca. Very nice to meet you. Hello. You want to spend £200 every week on flowers? Yeah. Oh, shit. Why? So the office is cheerful and smells nice. God damn, that's a lot. The company that financed me placed her here. 
but she's my CFO. Yet sometimes my CFO... Chief be, Financial look, Officer. Oh, my, I did not know that. <laughs> I thought so, because she gets... Actual for a flying object. <laughs> Boy, and I are finally having the talk with Phoebe. Ah. And I cannot cancel on him again or he will kill me. You, come over it. Come over it. Come and stand on this line. God, it's like a me. proper... Corp it's like... I can't explain. It's like a gladiator lineup. This is the Dum Dum line. This is where Dum Dums Damn. go. Stay. Damn! He's running a proper tight ship here, isn't he? Yeah. There he is. The one God, this kid himself. Looks like a. Hello. How was your trip? Oriental restaurant, like a Chinese restaurant. This does. It doesn't look like a, it does look like an office. I don't know. It kind of looked like <laughs> like Palpatine's um. Thingy, like <laughs> he's just sitting in there. The he's got the window at the back. Yeah, the Death Star. Can you believe they picked to finish twentieth? Well, yeah, because there's no twenty-first. <laughs> yeah, all right, all right, calm down. One of the new cleaners must have parked in the prestige lock by accident. <laughs> yeah. Oh no, that's Nate's car. And accidents have repercussions. It is, oh, isn't yeah. it? Yeah, that's my car. Is it really? No. Um, well, yeah, oh, yes. I mean, it's the one that I drove here in. <laughs> yes, that was your car. Yeah. It's a good rule of thumb never to ask a hippie to come in on his day off. Okay, message received. Ah, oh, right. Well, I'll go and smoke some toad venom while I'm waiting. Oh, shit. Gonna do fucking what? <laughs> don't even know. I don't want to know. Yeah. He'll be fine in 20 minutes. He'll be forever changed. But you can drive, yeah. Okay. Yes. Okay, are we sure we want to do that? I kind of want to see what that's going to do to him. Forget this bit. Here we go, guys. Down the hatch. Uh, no, thank here. you. Yeah, yeah. Go ahead. I thought they were training outside. Is that Roy Kent? Hello. Roy Kent! Is that you? Get fucked! <laughs> <laughs> Get that on Twitter, son. Yes. Oh, that's going to be memes about that now. Sewage and. But didn't they think. Oh, right. Where are they, by the way? Shouldn't they be training now? <sighs> <laughs> he doesn't know they left. The fellow sitting next to him was watching that horror movie, It. And well, Henry accidentally ended up watching it too. Mm. So then when he heard about uh, the story, he has to go on it in order to face his fears. Yeah, that is quite smart. Oh, thank you. Um, very nice to be here. Uh, I'm pretty sure I said Wonderkind. <laughs> Doesn't this look very demonic and kind of like... It's like, no, it's like lack of lighting. Yeah, whereas the Richmond one's a bit more airy and friendly. Spit on the floor like you do, and then... Spit on the floor? I don't know, he, he likes spitting and he gets his confidence but back in it. in the mirror. Okay! That's his weird thing, right? You just... It must all feel a bit overwhelming for you, yes? Not for me, no. Because I earned this job. What's overwhelming is the confusion I feel when someone so intelligent looking asks such a stupid question. Oh, God. Damn. He bites back. Meow. Anyone else? Yeah, I got a question. Yeah, go ahead, Isaac. What the fuck are we doing here? <laughs> Good question, Isaac. Silence! I can't hey, out. Uh, it's a good question, Isaac. What are we surrounded by down here? Coach. Yeah, Jamie. We're surrounded by pooper. <laughs> Poopy. But if you ask me, we're surrounded by a whole bunch of poopy up there as well, yeah? <laughs> Y'all need to make an internal sewer system within yourself and then connect to each other's tunnels. Help each other keep that flow. If you're feeling down, you know, get some Danny in your life. Or you can learn from Richard's vast knowledge of expensive wine. I mean, this is crazy if this works. Richmond. Any idea why everyone is expecting them to finish 20th this season? Probably because there's no 21st. <laughs> <laughs> oh. 
They're not phased. They already know he's West Ham's coach. Yeah, they must have found out earlier on. Would you like to comment on the new picture of AFC Richmond that's just showed up online? Oh, no. <laughs> yeah, well, it makes sense to me. I'll probably have to train in a sewer because their coach is so shitty. Ooh. Um. Oh, boy. I knew as soon as that guy took a picture, it was going to come about them. The power of social media. Yeah. You see what they said about us? Check this out. Look. What up? All right, lads. Build the sewer system within yourselves. Remember? Hey, lads. 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 Remember? It's just pooper. Let it flow. It's just pooper. I took the fellas on a little impromptu field trip. Yes, to a sewer, Ted. I know. Everyone knows. And you're upset that I didn't invite you? <laughs> Team that I own is projected to finish last this season. And my manager decided to skip training and take our players into a fucking sewer. Everyone is laughing at us, Ted. Mm. At you, at our team, at me. Are you thinking a little bit Rupert's more about Rupert there? There we go. Mm. I'm begging you, please, fight back. It's not in his nature to yeah. be verbal about it. He's yeah. more of a action speak louder than words. My hopes are as high as a draft's top hat. <laughs> uh, next question. And if it is, why is a draft wearing a top hat? Don't ask me, man. Go ask a draft. <laughs> oh, my God, he actually was going to ask that. Do you have any response to the comments made earlier today by your former assistant coach, Nathan Shelley? He's not going to say anything. It was hilarious. But that's Nate the Great for you. You know, he's the same way on the pitch. You know, he'll find the tiniest little weakness in a team and just want to attack that. Yeah. I mean, uh, he's a junkyard dog, man. And smart. Yes. See? Mm. You know, not one joke about me being a dumb American? Come on, man. Well, I'm so dumb. That the first time I heard y'all talking about Yorkshire pudding, I thought it was a fancy word y'all had for dog poop. <laughs> I mean, I'm so dumb. Oh, how dumb he is. Yeah, all right, well, you know. Well, whenever I text someone over here about money, I still spell pounds LBS. <laughs> I think he's turned it around. Yeah. Crack about my appearance? About this mustache? No, uh, she wasn't like letting Ted be Ted. Ned Flanders. <laughs> He does look like Ned Flanders, doesn't he? The thing is, his popularity is what is burning mm. Nate. He can... Oh. Regarding my panic attacks, I've had more psychotic episodes than Twin Peaks. <laughs> <laughs> I thought he started doing this off like, like doing an eight mile thing. But it's just getting everyone to laugh. And that's, that's what bothers him because he's, he's not got that panache. People like him, Nate. It's kind of it's kind of like he wants to constantly be trending, isn't it? Like he wants That's his weird. name up there. And... Ooh. Oh wow, he got an Aston Martin. Okay, I mean, wow, that is a beautiful car. Yeah. Look, see, look, it's Palpatine. It is Palpatine. So we think this is basically Anakin Skywalker that he's trying to seduce, or he's already seduced. We're going we on a break. Up. <laughs> huh? What? Which is it? Well... We broke up. What? I didn't agree to this. I thought they were talking about the birds and the bees, but this is a completely different no, conversation. What the fuck? We're too busy. But you, you were both busy before. Mm. We're more busy. It is literally they're both biz too busy to be with each other. And my core beliefs is that nothing lasts forever. Wow, that's pretty sad to Shh, he's think proper about as a kid. Grown up, isn't it? This is messed up. What the fuck, man? I thought, yeah, I thought they were good. Are you sure you're doing the right thing? No. I think you're being stupid. I agree. It's 
Smart kid, Phoebe. I know it's nuts we came here in the first place, but at this point, I can't tell if it's more crazy or less crazy that we're still here. Stay till the job's done. Why is Madoff to the side? Oh, well, remember, he's not part of the team anymore, yeah? Yeah, but you can still be friends, right? Mm, no. It's kind of up to Nate, though, isn't it? I'll win the whole thing. Well, now, don't forget, winning ain't everything. Yeah, Dad, but you gotta try, right? Damn straight. Thanos is an Infinity Gauntlet. Jake gave it to me. Oh, snap. Who the hell is Jake? Who's Jake? Mommy's friend. Oh, oh the person that she's seen. Lights up. Great. And that's the end of the episode. Thoughts? Oh man, Nate. It's it, do you know what it, it reminds me of? It's like it's a obviously the club's really polished. Like the way people are stand, like it, there's that bit where he's doing the training bit, and everyone's just standing kind of like behind him. It's like a really how do I put it? It's like a it's a really serious kind of polished off Sanitize, version of a football yeah, team. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And it's everything's just you know the offices are completely different. It's like you said, it's very Death Starry. It's got a very very like, cold. Dark, yeah, very cold kind of you know laser focused approach. Obviously, Ted's taking the boys down in sewers pipes and that down down sewers, and it just seems a bit more. Richmond seems a lot more welcoming and a bit more warm. Um, but yeah, Nate, I don't know. I just I st I'm having trouble with his character in terms of like. Do you think by the end of this we'll have like a redemption sort of arc for him? I think the thing is he it's one of those things where if he'll he'll say something and it'll get to a point where it'll be too late. Um I don't know. Or, I don't know. I think or, I... yeah, or it'll kind of like it'll he'll have like an epiphany moment and he'll do something wrong on purpose. A key I think moment. I think there'll be a, a key moment. There'll be a crossroads. Yeah. I think there'll be a yeah. crossroads moment, and he'll realise yeah. how much of a dick he's been, and he'll you he'll choose a correct path, and then Ted will forgive him, and then it'll be like it'll be rainbows and skittles again. Um, I think the thing is uh, the way Ted t talks about him is in that he doesn't want to be confrontational, but also I suppose he kind of understands that. He doesn't need to be confrontational with Nate. He can just be himself and, you know, it, it seems like, well, it is getting on Nate's nerves. Clearly, you can tell. Mm. Um, but yeah, what a, what a really, like I said, I still don't understand. I know they said it in that, that episode where he's like, he's got to come out of his shell. The spitting thing, I really don't understand. It's I don't really understand vulgar. Because he better either. start cleaning mirrors if he's spitting <laughs> on mirrors. It's just a fucking disgusting thing. It's just... It's, um... Moving on to Keely and um, Roy, what the? I, I'm really that was so random. That. that was so random. I even started this off by saying they are not gonna. They're obviously together. They wouldn't have broken up. But oh, obviously, maybe, yeah, maybe. after back off. Miss... No, no, it's just they're miss... really busy. There's no, there's no yeah. Nate. They're less a coach. She has more responsibilities. She has the PR firm. She's already talked about True. the fact that she has to book just to cry book an appointment to cry and she's double booked with Rebecca so she has to cry on a lapel um yeah that was that was that was a bit messed up but I don't know but I don't think it will long. last I think yeah. yeah I think they'll find a way of of getting back together I think it's like like Phoebe said I mean surprise Phoebe even said it but it's like you've only been together for like a year so. but also she also said you do you're stupid what you're doing is stupid yeah. to her yeah yeah um, yeah that that I mean it was it wasn't massive and I don't think uh, Rebecca will do it a lot more but the um, uh, making Ted like fight like against Nate as in I use your words as a like sort of in battle he's not that kind of person and she's that Rupert got to her in that moment yeah and I don't know if we're gonna I have think, many more of them I think she's got to understand that her way of fighting and Ted's way of fighting are completely different. Yeah. I get her, I understand her kind of anticipation as to when are you going to then perk up and when are you then going to start doing, you know, when are you going to start throwing daggers back? 
But I think, like I said, I think Ted's more about actions. Yeah, not only actions, even with words, he's never going to fight. He'll he'll, he'll praise his enemy. He'll praise his enemy before he does that. Um, Mm. And I think she already knew that, but I think she had a moment of red mist. Yeah. Like, that's probably what it was. Um, Great episode. Um, uh, Let us know your thoughts. Huh? I said it's a great start to the season. Oh yeah, definitely a great start to the season. Um, can't wait for the next one. Uh, let us know your thoughts in the comments. What did you think of the episode and our reaction to it? Um, button that, please. Like, share, subscribe, click the notification bell, and we'll see you in the next one. See ya.